Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com Today's tutorial will look at the critical path of your Microsoft project. Now the critical path identifies the tasks within your project that have a direct impact on the end date. So it's very useful to be able to view your critical path and understand it when you're trying to hit a go live date or some kind of deadline and maybe at the current present moment in time you're just going to miss it. You want to identify the tasks that if you can apply uh, more of your workforce to or bring in that end date, shorten its duration, you know that will bring in your project's end date as well. Now the quickest and easiest and my preferred way of viewing the critical path is to switch your view from your Gantt chart, which the project on screen at the moment is in, to your tracking Gantt. And to do that, I'm just going to use the area on the left hand side that identifies my current view. I'm going to right click and switch it to my tracking Gantt. And straight away you can see the critical path on screen. The critical path is shown by the red tasks. Let's drag this over a little bit. So all the tasks with the red bars are your critical tasks. Uh, otherwise it marks a project known to be the ones with no slack. And all the blue ones are just your still normal tasks. So this task here for holding auditions has no direct impact on the project's end date. However, the ones around it here you can see do. So if they were to take just one day longer, that would have a knock-on effect for all of our project. Their project will finish one day later. It'll be a 51 day duration. If I just switch this back to the Gantt chart, uh, just to show another way, I could click on the view menu and come back to my Gantt chart in this way. Rather than switch it between the Gantt chart and the tracking Gantt, another way of viewing your critical path on screen, if you want it to be constantly visible, is we could just format our Gantt chart. To do this, we have a button on the toolbar known as your Gantt chart wizard, which is this little kind of wand here. If we give that a click, Gantt Chart Wizard will walk you through some steps to format your Gantt Chart and one of the options will be to apply the critical path. So if I just click on my next button, there's the option straight away. What kind of information do you want to display? As you've got some other stuff here, uh, you can create some custom options, which is very powerful. You can view your baseline and so forth. We're going to go for critical path. I'm going to click on next. Do you want to display any other information? I won't for now. Well, I want to use the resources and dates is already selected. I'll click on next. Do I want to show uh, link lines for uh, dependencies between my tasks? Yes, I do. Click on next. And that's it. A nice congratulations message and a, a preview which has been following us the whole way through on the left there. I'll click on format it and then I'll exit the wizard. And there you have it, your critical path is now displayed within your, your normal Gantt chart as well as the tracking Gantt. So it's always visible. Your critical path is dynamic as well, so as your durations change and your, your project moves and things are happening, you'll notice that your critical path will change as well. So you're constantly aware of the tasks with uh, an impact on the end date if that is the, the primary goal of your project, to m meet a set date. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Check out some of our other tutorials on uh, Computer Gaga on our YouTube channel. Uh, check out computergaga.com for some of our other guides, tutorials and quizzes.